Nobody to fix. I know. I see she's... I'm not taking a picture. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Should uh, I smile? It's, it's a video. <laughs> A video. Yes, so See, what happened? Uh, you, you, you like to hear my accent? Yes, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Lithuania. Oh my goodness, yeah. when did you get here? How, long, how old I, were you I when you came? I the United States in uh, 1949. How old were you? Oh, how old am I? How, no, how, how old you were you when you came? Oh, 20. 20, my well, goodness. I was what did, you, did you speak English? No. How did you, <laughs> how did you function? <laughs> well, I tell you, function was hard. <laughs> this way. Yeah. What did you do? No. Uh, my father tells you, you have to have education. And that time, Korean War started, so we got, I got a job in the shoe factory in Worcester, mm. Massachusetts. So, so uh, after I decided, well, I'm going to try. I said, I can't speak English in the first place. And uh, I said, I bet I can work with my hands. Mm. And... Uh, so I tried BU, Boston University, to study mm -hmm. aviation. Mm -hmm. and, and besides, like I say, I like aviation because during the war, so all these B 17s flying over here. Mm -hmm. And I said, one day, people are going to fly. Mm -hmm. So you see, I was thinking right ahead of the future. <laughs> and um, so, so I went to BU, and uh, I had uh, finished my secondary school in Europe. And when I looked at my diploma, they said, your education equals two, two years of college. Oh my goodness. I said, that's fine, but I have to learn English. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I went through, uh, because masters was important in aviation. I passed that, and they gave me uh, three months first semesters to, uh, uh, <clears throat> to try. It says, if you pass, you are in, but if you can pass and you can understand English, so you're going to be out. Wow. So after three months, he says, he passed. <laughs> Even so, my language was weak. And what's exciting me, that was Jewish boy from New York would be. And he flung. I said, here you go. Guy knows yeah, English and he flung. <laughs> <laughs> how did you meet your wife? Oh, oh tell her that. that's a tell story. Her to, well, remember, ask, to ask, tell her what the hospital said to mom. Well, you. Where did you meet? And then say what you said and then... Mom said, I got him. Remember, <laughs> yes. she met him on the dance floor. Yeah. On the dance floor. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know how old you are. I don't ask you. She's almost 70 years old. I'm going to be oh, 70. Oh, I she looks beautiful. Yeah, maybe she remem remember the Arlington Towers. Sort of. Sort of? <laughs> you mean you never were? That, that's the most classic, cl classic place. <laughs> yeah, they are ballroom dancing in Arlington Towers. And I was with my roommate. I lived in Arlington. I was my roommate the other Two bedroom apartment and big bar. We used to drink. Pentagon people used to come and drink and do our bar, our liquor. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so when one Saturday he says, uh, Tony, what? I said, what you just sitting at home because I like to read and uh, I was confirmed that that's why I was and I was at 33 years old. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, so he persuaded to go. He said, we're going to fix you up something. I mean, Arlington Towers, big ballroom. So I went, uh, so I guess, okay, I'll keep company, him and his girlfriend and me. We went and he tried to introduce me to one girl. She lived up there. And I looked at her. I said, it's not my style. <laughs> See, I, li I like, my, because I'm so mature. I never had a childhood, so my, my maturity, I could not fit in the young generation. So anyway, uh, then we were dancing, I saw two girls sitting, and I picked up her mother to dance. And of course, we danced, and she started talking, sense. So we were dancing and talking, and I felt like she is, like, depressed. And then she was telling me that she's a widow. So I said, life is not over. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so we, so you just hit just right. So, that, uh, after dance, being nice, going home, I said, "Would you like to back on cotton shirt?" I looked at me, "You man of all life." <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, "That sorry about that asking." So, anyway, and then the, I don't know. I called her or she called me a couple of days later, 
and we, we decided to go out for dinner, and that's how it started. We just keep talking, and then that one, and then later on, when she goes to work, she worked for the Air Force uh, secretary, and ne next thing, that kid, she drops in my apartment. <laughs> I'm still in bed. I said, I want you to babysit that. So I said, okay. So I have to get up lucky, and babysit. Lucky you. We go out shopping, Safeway, and. How old was she? Five. Five? Yeah. So, so the one thing when I said I hated her, she jumps on my couch and she was jumping up and down, up and down, up and down. I said, would you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> so that, this is the night. We went to picnics to uh, uh, Shenandoah. Yeah, Skyline Drive. Oh, yeah, Skyline Drive. We said picnics on weekends. Mm -hmm. So um, somehow yeah. it felt like a family. Yeah. So a year later, she says, "Well, we're going and going and going." And she's, you know, don't you think about ma <laughs> <laughs> marriage? Well, man, I said, "No, I'm confirmed bachelor." Oh, no. <laughs> Finish the story. What story? And then she got him. And she got him. <laughs> <laughs> and so? Andra, well, <laughs> just before she passed, she said to the nurse, I got him. And she had this like devilish look on her yeah. face, like, aha. And, and then, then after that, she was down. I and couldn't then that was the day that she was laughing and giggling yeah, a little bit. And the then one day. she never went back to and, that again. And two days later, she, she was gone. I, I had a hope that she's gonna recover and come back home. Uh, you know, I said I'm gonna take care of you. Have to, you know, you have to hire nurses See, right now to take like care. Of. See, everyone's looking at like, yeah, this is special. part. This is a part of my story. If she would be holding it about three hours before she would hear my old story. <laughs> all the okay. wars, all this, how I escaped the GBs, how how we're hiding, how, how jo Germans got us, uh, got us. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Big ditches. How my father escaped mm -hmm. one night, and we all family. We always go ahead. I got a train wreck going to Berlin because Berlin was bombed. And, and I, I believe in miracles because that train was red for train. We thought we were gonna get earlier to Berlin, and and uh, we got on the train. And as soon as we got in the station, train uh, train was off the tracks. Where, where my, my mother's my mother's sisters were. In, uh, front car, so it was halfway, and there was a second car on the side. And all the Germans, injured Germans, they were shouting, yelling, and I was, you know, the German trace, there's the compartments. And I was laying, and I could see the doors coming down and down with the German soldiers bouncing. So I got out, I don't know how I got out, I got through the window, under the and that's the way. It's a miracle. Yeah, and then we get back, and then we took our regular five hour, five year, mm -hmm. uh, five hour going to train mm -hmm. in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And that train stopped. And and everybody wondered what's going on. Mm -hmm. We're not going in the, in, in, the, in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And we come out, you know, looking, people looking, and Berlin was fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Let me ask you something. If you had to say one thing, what was what is the most important thing you would like to say to uh, Leslie and everybody that you love? What words of wisdom would you like to share with well, them? Well, I tell you, you have to be patient, compassionate, <laughs> and forgiving. Uh, tolerant, right, right. Daddy, like you say. That's why this is. They always say, you know, they get mad or something. They, and that's not easy. You know, like say, right? oh, oh, somebody, uh, no, well, it's just, oh, I hate you, or, or no. like that, or, or some ven sending about vengeance in the book. I like to see that getting something happens from that. I, sa I said, it's not your decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what are you most proud of? I don't know. I, I, I'm saying that I think that my life meant to be what, what it is. So, so I know I still try to survive. But, you are. but look, I got I got a <coughs> lot of a lot of problems with me. Maybe you don't see me as as a as a flash. But I have uh, I'm ir irregular heartbeat. I have drugs. I had a kidney stage three. See all all those uh, and I have 
cataract operation has to be done with you. And your hip. And then your hip has to be He's getting So there you go. I mean, I, <clears throat> I try to... Uh, Have you ever thought that you're being rebuilt to hold yeah. higher energy? Uh, I, I don't know. That's, a, that's up to... Up to... Up there. Up yep. to God. You might be being restructured restored. to hold yeah, and restored and, what? and rejuvenated to Her. hold more beautiful <laughs> energy. Mm -hmm. well, Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. you, you, you talk like a priest. Are you a priest? <laughs> no. She's a very spiritual. Huh? She's a very spiritual. Oh, yeah. Oh, and right. I came over and complimented her. And she invited me to sit down because she said that I have such a positive spirit and that I'm such a, I have a glow. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, I just I well, said goodbye to my mother. Yeah. Can she, she said, see my glow? <laughs> and then I was talking. She said, your mom, you just buried your yeah. mother. Yes, I did. And, um, yeah. and I'm very peaceful. And well, I'm telling, I was we're, telling we're her. All peaceful. I was telling I her about I did everything you. I could. Yep. You know, so it, 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 it's funny. And you have to, I always tell him to give himself a hug. He says, Leslie, my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can do it. I don't think sometimes he gives himself the credit for all that he has done. No, I don't. I, Not just I, for my mom, for I, me. I think I never, I think I kind of finished, I didn't finish. Well, you might not finish be finished, just, Daddy. You... Well, like I say, you know, I don't know, I'm Catholic and old times. I remember when my grandmother died or just kids. This comes in and gives you less rights and all that. So when she died, I said, I want a priest to give her less rights. And he said, well, we have no priest here. So I, when I get to uh, to the girl body to funeral go home, home and I said, can I have a priest to give a you know less rights? Why well, says it's gonna be on your uh, the burial and the funeral? So I I don't you see in the old days I, I remember the old old Catholic <coughs> faith. This one new one I don't understand at all. This, you, you know, when I, when I finished, when, when I finished uh, school in Europe, the one, we used to have a religious class, so that's a part of education. All, all, all religious. We have to study, you know. The, the, so, why, uh, I, I was very quiet. That's the opposite of me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but anyway, tolerance, Daddy, it's tolerance. Uh, 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 Anyway, the priest begged me to go to uh, Vatican to study priest mm. I said, it's not my calling. <laughs> well, you never would have met your wife. You never would have had I Leslie know. as your daughter. And I have a feeling that Leslie has been the best daughter that a mother yeah, could possibly she's want. Bossy. And she's supposed to be. No, no. She's <laughs> supposed to be. So she, it's it's out of love that she says that's what she true. does, yeah. and she has that's other right. people's welfare <laughs> at stake, yeah. and that's the important yeah. thing. Yeah. And I have a feeling you were the best husband yeah. that well, any well, wife well, could I, possibly he was have. He was exceptional. Yeah, well, 52 years ago, I was looking for 53 this fall. We married on Columbus Day. Daddy, it's not, just the, it's huh? not just the length of time, it was the quality yeah, well, of your relationship. Yeah, you were yeah. an exceptional, anyone can say they were but married you see, today, I, I but love, you, were I love my, you were exceptional uh, to her. <laughs> you always made her the top priority after God, she was it. Wow, she was it. it. She Every was time? It. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes I used to wonder why, why I'm doing all this and what's my purpose. Ah. And I said, well, that's my purpose. That's right. <laughs> Maybe your purpose is to love. Yeah. Hey, I, I, and I'm to better, love with all of your heart. I, I'm very romantic. Ah. Sentimental. Very, very. And, uh, you uh -huh. know, sometimes, uh, you know, feel, I always feel that to be togetherness and love. And, Family. Yeah, and that's. We're so in. what would you say to your wife? If you had to speak to her right now, what would you say to her? Uh, well. I would say, don't make uh, God angry. <laughs> don't make God angry. Don't make God angry. Be good. He told her yesterday at our meeting. I told her while I, I was looking at her. I said, you behave up there. Don't get <laughs> what God tells you to do. Because she's kind of feisty. Yeah. yeah and she was feisty. And what would you say, Leslie, to her? <laughs> well, like she was I apologizing. Said, like I was saying yesterday, I said, Mom, I thank you for 
being an exceptional mother to me under the most trying of circumstances. I love you, I respect you, and I apologize for all the times that I wasn't the best daughter in the world. But that's what kids do, I guess, but I own it and I am sorry, and I aspire to be like you, Mom, but I don't think I ever will. That's, that's some big shoes to fill, but I will certainly try. And I'm scared now, Andrea, because I know now she is watching over me. I can't hide from her. She's watching me, and I want to make her proud. Well, just make God proud. Just, and um, I've always been this type of person to reach out to others. It's just my personality. I like people. I don't meet a stranger. Um, and Mom, rest in heavenly peace. And I will do the very best I can to look out for Daddy until he meets up with you again on the other side. And I love you. And that's it. And I have nothing but peace in my heart. Okay. I'll miss her, but I can talk to her all the time. And I can pick up a piece of clothing and smell her scent. Um, when I'm gardening, I'll be thinking of her just all the time. Not just it's her spirit lives on. And lives on through you. Thank you both so much. You're welcome. Oh, Thank you. You, you. have a May you be bunch blessed. over there. May oh, you be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are such a blessing. <laughs>